Today, ABC 40 also spoke to a physics professor at Western New England College about depleted uranium and why it's used by the military. ABC 40's Jenna Hagis continues our team coverage with what he had to say. Jenna? Shannon, like we just heard from Jeff, experts say the danger to the public is minimal, but we set out to find out why the military used uranium to begin with. Professor Carl Martini tells us, like mercury and other heavy metals, its chemical form can be dangerous, but its density was attractive to the military because it could mimic the firing of bullets. In fact, it's about 19 times denser than water, which made for the perfect ingredient for military training. It turns out if you can make it go very fast, like in a bullet, uh, you can shoot basically through armor plates with it. And that's what the military got very interested in, it, and they made it into uh, bullets which could penetrate tanks. And Professor Martini stressed that the possible uranium in Springfield is the leftover extract from the naturally occurring uranium used in bombs. And although he doesn't feel this is much of a threat, he says it's a good idea to be aware of the history of the land. Right?